Texas, 34, Kansas State, 27. And this one got a little bit interesting at the end. It was a little bit tense, I think you could say. Uh, Let's pull up the stats so that you can see what we're looking at. Kansas State ran more plays. They both had equal the number of turnovers. Uh, Total yards was Kansas State. Uh, You know, I'd only... Only had eyes on this a little bit while the other games were going on because Clemson and Notre Dame was so surprising. Alabama LSU, of course, was going on. Uh, I did the, have this on one of my screens, but uh, but I didn't get to see it all the way through. And and before you guys jump in on why are you talking about it, if you know what we're talking about really is the narrative of what happened and and what it means in the grand scheme of everything else that's going on, right? So. Texas, uh, you know, more PPA per play, better success rate, better standard down success, better passing down success, etc. But they had a chance to put this thing away in the first half uh, before the punch out, right? Uh, you go and look at the the play by play here, and I, you know, I, I look and I see that. Let's pull it back up on the screen here. So this fumble when they were up thirty-one to ten. I guess that was early in the third quarter. It wasn't the first half. Uh, Xavier Worthy fumbles the ball. And that is what led to Kansas State, you know, getting back into this thing. It was 31-17 to 17 at that point. And then you go down. You did nine plays, 29 yards and a punt. Uh, three plays, six yards and a punt. And then Kansas State scores again to make it 31-24. to 24. So uh, you, you really let this thing get hairy, and you shouldn't have. At uh, the end of this ball game, the <laughs> double O'Neill. That's why we need a top twenty-five playoff. Uh, so, the end of the game. Adrian Martinez getting the ball down to the Texas, you know, forty-three, and then he he runs and he fumbles the football with twenty-four seconds left. It felt like I was watching a Nebraska highlights reel from the twenty twenty-one season. It was. So brutal to see that because Kansas State had worked and gotten themselves back in this game. Why, how in the world does Texas come out and score all these points early, right? They 31 to 10 at the half, and they ended with 34 points. They kicked one field goal in the fourth quarter. How does this happen? And what, what adjustments are being made or are not being made by Sarkeesian and that staff? I'm, I'm perplexed. I don't know how we I don't know how we get to this point. So regardless, they get a, a big time win. They're six and three now. Uh, they're four and two in the conference. They got the tiebreaker over Kansas State. Of course, uh, there's Oklahoma State back there with three losses now, of course, because of the Kansas game. I don't think we're gonna have time to talk about that today. Um, yeah, it's just it's it's bonkers to look at and see exactly what has happened uh, with this Texas football team. I can't figure out why they can't just put games away. Now, in the past, they would have lost this game, 100%. And yet, they found a way to win it. But I'm telling you, I'm, I'm just, I'm shocked. I'm shocked at at the way that they let that thing get out of their hands. Because I, they were they were owning the ball game, absolutely owning the ball game. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.